Okay, so welcome everybody. Uh, I just wanted to start today off by saying uh, Diok and thank you to everybody that has made the elections happen. Uh, in particular, some of the departments within the Student Union, so um, IT, uh, our Marcoms team, our Student Voice team, our Ballot staff, Steve Wilford, um, University colleagues, um, Restart, Kirsty, Tom, me, somehow I'm in the list, um, Lamorna, and all of the other departments and individuals that helped to make this such a successful election. It really can't happen without you, so thank you, everybody. Okay, so we've had one election across five days. We've had 51 candidates, and we managed to get 6,205 voters. Well done, everybody. Woo! And that is a total of 50,993 votes in total, which I think is very impressive. Okay, so we are going to go through the results one by one. Um, the running order is going to start with the awards. Um, so everybody would have been given the opportunity to nominate candidates for all of our different awards. So we'll start with this, and then we'll go through campaign officers, followed by the sabbatical officer positions. So to start off, we are going to go through the candidates' awards. So the first one that we're going to go to is the Duracell Bunny Award. And this goes to, let me just get it up, Jen Kent. Woo she, she, she's, she's not here, so <laughs> we will um, we'll give it to her at another time. Um, uh, next one, Spielberg Awards. So this is for the person that uh, has done the best video. Uh, and that goes to Elliot Badcock. Is Elliot here? Does he want to come up and get a certificate? Yeah, Elliot. <laughs> Right, next one is the Bigger Picture Award. And this goes to Rory. Okay, then on to Lady Gaga, who had the best costume. It's always really fun watching what you guys come out with. <laughs> this one goes to Alex Williams. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> The next one is the Spam Awards. So who has spammed as many groups as they possibly can? <laughs> this goes to Thomas Bermudez. <laughs> okay, so the Zuckerberg Award. Uh, so this is for the best use of social media, and this goes to Taz Jones. Taz <laughs> to the gift of the gab, so this is the person that managed to sell themselves, um, and this goes to Andrew Duncan. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Okay, then on to the Sidekick Awards. So this is for the most dedicated uh, campaign member, or in this case, campaign team. And it goes to Jackie and her campaign team. So if any of her campaign team are here and want to come up and collect it, or Jackie herself. <laughs> And the last one is the candidate's candidate. So this is the person that has been looking out for everybody else uh, and making sure they've, everybody's been looked after. So it's a, a very cute award. And this goes to Rebecca Pinder. find where we are. So we're now on to the main bit. So I'm going to first talk you through how voting works. Yep, I'm doing that right. Um, so it works as in we have, we can calculate a quota. Um, so the quota is the total number of votes divided by the number of positions available plus one. Um, we count all first preference votes if the quota is met, the candidate is elected. If not, the candidate with the fewest votes is eliminated. Their second preference votes are then added to the first preference votes of the remaining candidates, and we return to step three, until the candidate either reaches the quota or all other candidates are no longer there. So we'll run through an example. Okay, so with 4,600 votes cast, the quota is 2,300. None of the candidates have reached this quota, so the candidate with the fewest votes is eliminated. That's Ron. Ron's second preference votes are transferred and added to the first preference votes of the other candidates. Where there is no second preference, they are then classed as non-transferable votes, or NTV. The quota still isn't reached, so the candidates with the fewest votes is eliminated and their votes transferred. That's Minnie Mouse, then Pluto. Have we got Minnie Mouse and Pluto? Yep. Um, with three candidates left, the next round is the last round. Goofy is eliminated and his votes are transferred, whilst Mickey led early on, Donald with a more popular second choice, uh, he then goes on to win the election by a nose or a beak. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we're now going to move on to the results for the campaign officers. And I'll start with the first three and then I'll pass over um, to Tom and Lamorna. So the first one we're going to do is the black and ethnic minorities officer. There are two candidates in this election, Erin and Ron. 3,096 votes were cast in this election. The quota is therefore 1,548. In stage one, Erin received 2,922 votes. Ron received 174 votes. Therefore, Erin reaches the quota and is elected as Black and Ethnic Minorities Officer. Um, I've really enjoyed campaigning with you all. You've been all so lovely and so passionate about what you've been doing, and I hope I can make a difference to ethnic minorities here at Cardiff. So thank you. Okay, well done, Erin. We're now going to move on to Students with Disabilities Officer. There are two candidates in this election, Demetria and Ron. 2,188 votes were cast in this election. The quota is therefore 1,094. 
In stage one, Demetria received 2,077 votes. Ron received 111 votes. Demetria reaches the crater and is therefore elected as Students with Disabilities Officer. Uh, I don't think Demetria is here, so we'll pass on our congratulations to her. Okay, now on to Welsh Language Officer. Again, there were two candidates in this election, Jacob and Ron. 2,014 votes were cast in this election. The quota is therefore 1,007. In stage one, Jacob received 1,906 votes. Ron received 108 votes. Jacob reaches the quota and is therefore elected as Welsh Language Officer. Again, I don't think Jacob is here, so we will pass on our congratulations. I'm now going to pass over to Tom, who is going to uh, let you know about LGBT plus Opens Officer. Good afternoon, everybody. This is the LGBT plus Open Officer position. There are two candidates in this election, Josh and Ron. 2,399 votes were cast in this election, the quota is therefore 1,200. In stage one, Josh received 2,244 votes. Ron received 155 votes. Josh reaches the quota and is therefore elected as LGBT Open Officer. Thank you. Uh, to everybody who voted for me. Um, one thing that I would like to say is that I think it's really disappointing that there was only one candidate in this election. So because I've been elected, I hope to make sure that next year there are a lot of candidates in this election and that there is a competition for LGBT plus open place because it's really important to represent everybody here at Cardiff who is LGBT plus. Thank you. <laughs> I will now be releasing the results for women's officer. There are two candidates in this election. Hanin and Ron. 2,067 votes were cast in this election. The quota is therefore 1,034. In stage one, Hanin received 1,701 votes. Ron received 3,000, sorry. <laughs> Not 3,000, 366 votes. Hanin reaches the quota and is therefore elected as women's officer. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Peace be upon you. Uh, I just want to say that I face a lot of challenges during these elections. I was actually unable to campaign for most days. And before that, my laptop crashed and I lost a lot of my PhD work. Um, so I really want to thank you deeply because I received lots of messages of support for so many people that I've met who told me I voted for you, even though the deadline passed and you didn't even put a manifesto through and we didn't see your posters anywhere. And they said they voted for me because they could see how dedicated and committed I was to women empowerment, and I am. So I would like to thank all of the glorious uh, female students in Cardiff University and equally all of the amazing amazing um, guys in this university because last year my slogan was uh, empowering women does not mean disempowering men. I know when we're talking about the glass ceiling, we are always saying the guys are at the top and we have to break that glass ceiling, but actually we need to break it together. Because here in Cardiff University, I meet amazing guys, they treat us equally, they treat us with respect, and we're all gonna graduate from here and we can make changes together. And I just want to tell you that 
I hope that in the future we will get positions based on our talent and our skills and not on our gender. And I'm confident that uh, the female students and the male students here, when you are in a position of power and you interview people, that's exactly the criteria you will go for. Uh, I also would like to thank uh, my uh, grandmother and my grandfather uh, and my mother because they are the ones who taught me what women empowerment truly means. Um, I'm sorry I'm talking a lot, but a lot of people didn't come up here, so I'm taking their time. <laughs> yeah, right, okay, thank you. <laughs> I think he voted wrong, <laughs> but it's okay. Um, uh, well, my mom told me this story that really empowered me, and it was, uh, I'm from Palestine, so we were under occupation in Gaza. A soldier breaks uh, into our house. Uh, all of the, 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 the older sisters run out scared from the soldiers, and my grandmother stands there. And there's a little girl next to her who's about three to four years old and she refuses to leave her mother and the soldier looks at this woman who's my grandmother and says to her are you not scared from my bullets are you not scared I'm gonna kill you and she looked straight into his eyes and said to him the only person who can take my life is the one who gave me life and because she believes in God she was referring to God and my mom saw that. My mom was just sitting down there. And for her, that was the ultimate empowerment for her. The fact that she could see a woman facing a bullet straight and looking at him as he was shooting around him at the wall and telling him, I'm not afraid of you. And this is just a simple example. I think whatever you face in your world, don't allow anybody to scare you. Don't allow anybody to put fear on you because not, no one can take away your power and your strength except yourself if you stop believing in yourself. And that woman grew up and became an excellent student and she was the first one who was supposed to go to university. And the people in the community literally said, you can't send her, she's a woman. And my grandfather said, it's not about her gender, it's about her excellence. And he sent her away and she went from Jordan to Lebanon to Syria and there was literally war, civil war running after her. And when it came time to her, exa her examination in Lebanon during the civil war in the 80s, uh, the examiner said to her, you know, there are rockets outside and bombs and we're all gonna die. Can you please leave the examination room? She said, I'm not gonna leave. He said, we're gonna die together. The students who ran out, a bomb hit them and they all died and my mom was the only person to graduate in that year because she refused to leave that room because her family had made so much sacrifices for her to have an education. And this is where I just want to say that men and women together, we play a role in empowering each other. And I just want to, you just to kind of, I, I wish that in the future more people will vote in these elections because I think you need to realize that people even in this country have made so many sacrifices for women to have the rights they have today. And there are women throughout the world who are still making the same sacrifices that women here made years ago. And therefore, since we are all around, where are we, 33,000 students, I hope that in the future more people will vote because you are so empowered, but you can't be powerful if you don't use that power. And if you don't use it, someone will come and try to take it away from you. But I won't allow that to happen while I'm in that position. So please, if you have complaints, tell me, because I will fight with for you and I will stand by your side. And I'm known as a revolutionary and I don't allow any institutions to put constraints on me. So revolution, everybody. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>- yes, does work. <laughs> What's that a weird angle? Okay, right, so, hello everyone. I hope you are not all too stressed. I am also slightly stressed, lots of paper. Right, so, I am now here to, to talk through the next International Students Officer. So, there are three candidates in this election, Julia Rook and Yamini Rana and Ron. So. 2,460 votes were cast in this election. The quota is therefore 1,230. In stage one, Julia received 1,860 votes. Yamini received 477 votes, and Ron receives 123 votes. 
Julia reaches the quota and is therefore elected as International Students Officer. Okay, does not look like Julia is here. So, again, we will pass on her congratulations. Our congratulations to her. Okay, so now moving on to Mental Health Officer. So, there are five candidates in this election. Mim Kamona Gordon, Abby Fredlington, Essen Capelli, Orla Tarn, and Ron. So, 2,609 votes were cast in this election. The quota is therefore 1,305. In stage one, Mim receives 550 votes. Abby received 664 votes. Essen received 520 votes, Orla received 833 votes, and Ron received 42 votes. No candidate reached the quota, so the candidate with the fewest votes is eliminated and their votes transferred. Therefore, Ron is eliminated. In stage two, Mim receives 551 votes, Abby receives 665 votes, Essen receives 522 votes, Orla receives 833 votes. No candidate reached the quota, so the candidate with the fewest votes is eliminated and their votes transferred. Therefore, Essen is eliminated. In stage three, Mim receives 648 votes, Abby receives 777 votes, Orla receives 924 votes. No candidate reached the quota, so the candidate with the fewest votes is eliminated and their votes transferred. Therefore, Mim is eliminated. In stage four, Abby received 1,032 votes. Orla receives 1,083 votes. With no further rounds available, Orla leads with the most votes and is therefore elected as mental health officer. No candidate reached the quota, so the candidate with the fewest votes is eliminated and their votes transferred. Therefore, Jura is eliminated. In stage three, Martha received 1,025 votes. Janet received 928 votes. With no further rounds available, Martha leads with the most votes and is therefore elected as mature students officer. So you're probably wondering, who am I? Um, I have had a really difficult week, so I haven't been out campaigning very much, but I just want to thank every single person that voted for me, because this means a lot more to me than I care to admit. Um, but yeah, thank you so much, and hopefully I can just prove that mature students are fun as well, basically. We might be old, but we're cool too. So, farewell, everyone. <laughs> So we are now on to the sabbatical officer roles, and I would like to invite Lamorna to start with Vice President Heath Park Campus. Okay, I really not got to not get this wrong. So. There are four candidates in this election, Harriet Arscott, Jennifer Kent, Alex Rawlins, and Ron. 2,575 votes were cast in this election, and the initial quota is therefore 1,288. In stage one, Harriet received 806 votes. Jennifer received 1,129 votes. Alex received 595 votes, and Ron received 45 votes. No candidate reached the quota, so the candidate with the fewest votes is eliminated and their votes transferred. Therefore, Ron is eliminated. In stage two, Harriet received 806 votes. Jennifer received 1,130 votes. Alex received 598 votes. No candidate reached the quota, so the candidate with the fewest votes is eliminated and their votes transferred. Therefore, Alex is eliminated. 
In stage three, Harriet receives 957 votes. Jennifer receives 1,333 votes. Jennifer reaches the quota and is therefore elected as Vice President Heath Park. So Jen couldn't be here today, so obviously we'll pass on her congratulations. She's watching, she's watching. Hi Jen, congratulations. <laughs> Okay, now moving on to Tom with postgraduate students. So, the results for Vice President postgraduate students. There were four candidates in this election. Victoria, Jake, Alex and Ron. 2,282 votes were cast in this election. The initial quota is therefore 1,141. In stage one, Victoria received 438 votes. Jake received 925 votes. Alex received 883 votes. Ron received 36 votes. No candidate reached the quota, so the candidate with the fewest votes is eliminated and their votes transferred. Therefore, Ron is eliminated. In stage two, Victoria received 441 votes. Jake received 927 votes. Alex received 883 votes. No candidate reached the quota, so the candidate with the fewest votes is eliminated and their votes transferred. Therefore, Victoria is eliminated. In stage three, Jake received 1,044 votes. Alex received 1,015 votes. With no further rounds available, Jake leads with the most votes and is therefore elected as Vice President Postgraduate Students. Um, I'd like to first of all, of course, thank everyone who voted in this election for any candidate, uh, especially to thank everyone who supported me in my election and all of the volunteers. I was very lucky to have their support. Um, I'd like to thank Victoria for the great manifesto and campaign that she ran, and I'd also like to put special thanks on record to Alex. Alex has contributed so much to our Students' Union as a director and trustee, providing great advice over the last couple of years and we've all been very grateful for that. And thank you for the campaign that you ran, Alex. Thank you. And finally, I'll just say thank you to all the students for again putting your trust in me, and I'm looking forward to standing up for postgraduates at Cardiff University. Thank you. Thank you. I'd now like to invite Holly up to release the results for Vice President Education. Right. On to VP Education election. There are seven candidates in this election. Owain. Alani, Andrew, Taz, Rebecca, Jackie, and Ron. 3,306 votes were cast in this election. The initial quota is therefore 1,653. In stage one, Owain received 747 votes. Alani received 570 votes. Andrew received 431 votes, Taz received 224 votes, Rebecca received 449 votes, Jackie received 853 votes, Ron received 32 votes. No candidate reached the quota, so the candidate with the fewest votes is eliminated and their votes are transferred. Therefore, Ron is eliminated. In stage two, Owain received 747 votes, Alani received 570 votes, Andrew received 
432 votes. Taz received 224 votes. Rebecca received 450 votes. Jackie received 853 votes. No candidate reached the quota, so the candidate with the fewest votes is eliminated and their votes transferred. Therefore, Taz is eliminated. In stage three, Owain received 780 votes. Alani received 590 votes. Andrew received 451 votes. Rebecca received 474 votes. Jackie received 874 votes. No candidate reached the quota, so the candidate with the fewest votes is eliminated and their votes transferred. Therefore, Andrew is eliminated. In stage four, Owain received 883 votes. Alani received 631 votes. Rebecca received 532 votes. Jackie received 941 votes. No candidate reached the quota, so the candidate with the fewest votes is eliminated and their votes transferred. Therefore, Rebecca is eliminated. In stage five, Owain received 1,007 votes. Alani received 696 votes. Jackie received 1,054 votes. No candidate reached the quota, so the candidate with the fewest votes is eliminated and their votes transferred. Therefore, Alani is eliminated. In stage six, Owain re received 1,156 votes. Jackie received 1,234 votes. With no further rounds available, Jackie leads with the most votes and is therefore elected as Vice President Education. I kept my coat on because I was so sure I didn't even win, so I was just going to leave. Um, I want to thank my amazing campaign team. I don't know. I, they're over, some of them are over there. I just don't know why I would have done without Keisha Addo, Lydia White, Nico Panera Martinez. I just, I did not get out of bed if it wasn't with them. Um, and everyone who voted for me in the wonderful School of Music who basically supported me from day one. Um, I didn't want to run, and I was so scared to run, and I can't believe I was pushed into running, and I actually won. <laughs> um, thank you to everyone who voted for me. Um, I promise to use this platform for good, and I promise to carry out all my manifesto points that got me elected in the first place. Um, oh my God, I had so much things to say. But, um, what was I going to say? The other candidates who were running, most of them were on student advice. I love you all. Um, you gave me a real, how do you say it? I was scared. I was very, very scared running against you. Josh Gibbs, I don't know what I would have done without you messaging me to run. Everyone who told me to run. Steve Ralph, who I cried to all the time, trying to get me to run as well. <laughs> Alex Williams and Nick Fox, who also tried to get me to run against all odds. I did it. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Right. I will now go on to present the results for Vice President Welfare and Campaigns. Okay. There are eight candidates in this election. Amir, Thomas, Lauren, Jane, Thierry, George, Jovi, and Ron. 2,770 votes were cast in this election. The initial quota is therefore 1,385. In stage one, Amir received 638 votes. Thomas received 460 votes. Lauren received 174 votes. Jane received 341 votes. Thierry received 392 votes. George received 534 votes. Jovi received 
197 votes. Ron received 34 votes. No candidate reached the quota, so the candidate with the fewest votes is eliminated and their votes transferred. Therefore, Ron is eliminated. In stage two, Amir received three, uh, sorry, 639 votes. Thomas received 460 votes. Lauren received 175 votes. Jane received 341 votes. Thierry received 392 votes. George received 534 votes. Jovi received 198 votes. No candidate reached the quota, so the candidate with the fewest votes is eliminated and their votes transferred. Therefore, Lauren is eliminated. In stage three, Emir received 648 votes. Thomas received 477 votes. Jane received 369 votes. Thierry received 408 votes. George received 551 votes. Jovi received 200, 216 votes. No candidate reached the quota, so the candidate with the fewest votes is eliminated and their votes transferred. Therefore, Jovi is eliminated. In stage four, Amir received 670 votes. Thomas received 491 votes. Jane received 413 votes. Thierry received 444 votes. George received 570 votes. No candidate reached the crater, so the candidate with the fewest votes is eliminated and their votes transferred. Therefore, Jane is eliminated. In stage five, Emir received 709 votes. Thomas received 531 votes. Thierry received 528 votes. George received 649 votes. No candidate reached the quota, so the candidate with the fewest votes is eliminated and their votes transferred. Therefore, Thierry is eliminated. In stage six, Emir received 816 votes. Thomas received 591 votes. George received 749 votes. No candidate reached the quota, so the candidate with the fewest votes is eliminated and their votes transferred. Therefore, Thomas is eliminated. In stage seven, Emir received 944 votes. George received 891 votes. With no further rounds available, Emir leads with the most votes and is therefore elected as the next Vice President Welfare and Campaigns. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Everyone who voted for me, I'd like to thank my God, Allah, for giving me this opportunity and making me win. And I'd like to thank my mother and father and, you know, for bringing me this world and bringing me, you know, raising me right. And also every single one that voted for me and every single one on my campaign team and everyone, every single one of you that's here. And, you know, I can't believe I made it, you know. You know, no matter who you are, you, you know, like Hanin was saying, I'm here to fight for human rights. This is what welfare deal with. No matter if you're gay, you're white, you're black, whatever race you are, where, wherever you come from, I'm here to fight for humanity, for aggression against anyone out there, for aggression against anyone in the Middle East or in any other part of the world. And I would like to fight for these rights. This is what welfare and campaigns deal with. And I'm so glad that I can do this. And you know, it is my duty that I was saying um, during my campaign and now that I'm, I'm going to fight uh, for everything every single rights of every single student here at Cardiff University and I put my heart and soul into making the, into making, um, the changes and making this a better university and a better campus for every single student out there. Thank you so much for listening to me and thank you so much for giving me this opportunity and thank you everyone. <laughs> I'd like to invite Tom up to present Vice President Sports and Athletic Union President. So, there were four candidates in this election. Adi, 
Georgie, Callum, and Ron. 3,107 votes were cast in this election. The initial quota is therefore 1,554. In stage one, Addy received 928 votes. Georgie received 1,503 votes. Callum received 633 votes. Ron received 43 votes. No candidate reached the quota, so the candidate with the fewest votes is eliminated and their votes transferred. Therefore, Ron is eliminated. In stage two, Addy received 929 votes. Georgie received 1,504 votes. Callum received 634 votes. No candidate reached the quota, so the candidate with the fewest votes is eliminated and their votes transferred. Therefore, Callum is eliminated. In stage three, Addy received 1,184 votes. Georgie received 1,663 votes. Georgie reaches the quota and is therefore elected as Vice President Sports and Athletic Union President. Thank you very much. Um, first of all, I just want to say a massive well done to Adi and Callum. Um, and also then I want to thank the Rowan Club. <laughs> you are massively behind me. I want to thank Maddie Scott who helped me with my poster. I want to thank Liv who helped me with my video. And I also want to say a massive thank you to Harry who supported me, who said that I could run for it and made me go for it. And just thank you to everyone who voted. And yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> I would like to now invite Lamorna on stage to release the results for Vice President Societies and Volunteering. Okay, so now on to Vice President Societies and Volunteering. So, there are seven candidates in this election. We've got Elliot, Adash, Catherine, Poppy, Henry, Rory, and Ron. So, 2,732 votes were cast in this election. The initial quota is therefore 1,366. In stage one, Elliot received 636 votes. Uh, Adash received 162 votes. Catherine received 321 votes. Poppy received 366 votes. Henry received 616 votes. Rory received 601 votes. Ron received 30 votes. No candidate reached the quota, so the candidate with the fewest votes is eliminated and their votes transferred. Therefore, Ron is eliminated. In stage two, Elliot received 637 votes. Adash received 162 votes. Catherine received 321 votes. Poppy received 367 votes. Henry received 616 votes. Rory received 601 votes. No candidate reached the quota, so the candidate with the fewest votes is eliminated and their votes transferred. Therefore, Adash is eliminated. In stage three, Elliot received 652 votes. Catherine received 327 votes. Poppy received 378 votes. Henry received 631 votes. Rory received 617 votes. No candidate reached the quota, so the candidate with the fewest votes is eliminated and their votes transferred, therefore Catherine is eliminated. In stage four, Elliot received 686 votes. Poppy received 421 votes. Henry received 710 votes. Rory received 654 votes. No candidate reached the quota, so the candidate with the fewest votes is eliminated and their votes transferred. Therefore, Poppy is eliminated. In stage five, Elliot received 753 votes. Henry received 842 votes. 
Rory received 728 votes. No candidate reached the quota, so the candidate with the fewest votes is eliminated and the votes transferred, therefore Rory is eliminated. In stage six, Elliot receives 926 votes. Henry receives 1,016 votes. With no further rounds available, Henry leads with the most votes and is therefore elected as Vice President of Societies and Volunteering. chicken. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, I honestly did not expect this to happen. <laughs> um, thank you so much to everyone who voted for any position uh, because democracy and engagement means a lot at Cardiff. Thank you so much to my fellow candidates for, for Society's Volunteering. I, especially Rory, Kat, and Elliot, who are sat here, I know that all three of you are going to go on to be wildly successful and possibly even work in the same building as me next year anyway. <laughs> um, thank you to my amazing friends and campaign team. Thank you especially to Jane Hobbs, who <laughs> literally I lived in her house <laughs> this week and uh, put up with me for so many hours of me worrying and, and being exhausted. Thank you to Ned for your patience when I'm being really, really grumpy and for feeding me and making sure I sleep. Thank you to my SU parents, Jess and Josh, for, for being lovely. <laughs> um, and thank you to, to, my, to my SU family and to all of you guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, so without further ado, I'd like to invite Holly up to announce the Students' Union President. Okay, on to the Student Union President election. There are three candidates in this election. Fadila, Nick, and Ron. 3,938 votes were cast in this election. The initial quota is therefore 1,969. In stage one, Fadila receives 2,028 votes. Nick received 1,862 votes. Ron received 48 votes. Fadila reaches the quota and is therefore elected as Students' Union President. Three votes I got in the last 
Lisa, definitely. <laughs> and thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. And I will leave you with honest heart, with authentic heart, for the sake of humanity, for the sake of everyone. I love you so much. I hear you. Let's make it happen! Right, and that concludes our results night. Can we give it up and a big congratulations to your 2018-19 officer team. Can you all come up to the stage? Everyone. You don't need shoes. Just come up. You don't need shoes. <laughs> Have we got everyone? Missing anyone? Right, big congratulations. Well done, guys. Woo!